Both AMD and Intel are planning to release a new generation of CPUs in 2024. In this video, I want to ask and answer one simple question. Can the upcoming Intel Arrow Lake CPUs catch up to AMD's next-gen Zen 5? To figure it out, we'll analyze all available information about these upcoming processes. Then we'll create a comparative chart aligning the performance projections provided by each company against the current generations to evaluate and compare them side by side. But first, CDKeyOffer.com has been my favorite trusted seller of affordable Windows 10 Pro OEM keys for over three years now. They're currently running a Christmas sale on all Microsoft software. Use discount code IVADIM to get 25% off and bring the Windows 10 Pro price down to just $16 then securely check out with PayPal or another payment method. The key is delivered instantly, so you can activate it and upgrade to Windows 11 for free if you wish to do so. Microsoft Office 2019 and 2021 Pro are also on sale with a discount code IVADIM. Grab them now while the Christmas sale is on! Intel's next generation of processors is based on the new Arrow Lake architecture. It is highly likely that Intel won't call the next generation of desktop processors the 15th generation, because they've started rebranding their products with the arrival of Meteor Lake laptop chips. So we'll have to wait and see what the actual name will be. But for sake of simplicity, I will keep calling it the 15th generation and use names such as i9-15900K to make things easy to understand. Arrow Lake features major design changes compared to Raptor Lake architecture currently utilized in Intel's 13th and 14th generation processors. It introduces two super efficient cores we've seen in recent Meteor Lake laptop chips to desktop. This should help lower power consumption during low intensity tasks and while the PC is idle. Unfortunately, Arrow Lake CPU cores won't have hyper-threading and they still lack rentable units technology which is supposed to be the next big thing for Intel processors. The top configuration features 8 performance cores paired with 16 efficiency cores and two super-efficient cores I mentioned earlier. This is the configuration that will serve as the i9-14900K successor. Let's call it the i9-15900K for now. This next generation of Intel processors will be manufactured on either TSMC's 3 nanometers or Intel's 20A process. Both are cutting edge and offer a massive performance as well as power efficiency uplift over the processors currently used by AMD and Intel. The next generation of Ryzen processors will be called Ryzen 8000 series and they are based on Zen 5 architecture. Zen 5 is a major architectural redesign focused on efficiently increasing performance. The higher TDPs introduced with the Ryzen 7000 series are here to stay. However, it should not be an issue in terms of competitiveness, since AMD CPUs have a huge edge over Intel in terms of power consumption. For example, the 7950X3D consumes 20% less energy than the 14900K in games on average. We are witnessing this situation because Intel failed to gain a competitive edge over AMD using technological advancements during the last several generations, and had to throw more energy at the problem to remain competitive on the performance comparison charts in independent reviews. This is precisely why the i9 processors are humorously being referred to as fantastic solution to keep warm during winter, and indeed, they generate enough heat to rival a small space heater. The top Ryzen 8000 CPU configuration features 16 cores and 32 threads. Basically, the whole lineup is expected to feature this same number of cores as the current one. The new processors will be manufactured using TSMC's 4 nanometer technology, a significant step up from the 5 nanometer process used for the current Ryzen 7000 series, making a full generation of process improvement. Moreover, AMD is on track to launch the 3D variants of the Ryzen 8000 series CPUs by the end of 2024, boosting gaming performance of the next generation even higher. Now let's have a look at the performance projection chart I've prepared. The Ryzen 9 8950X is expected to launch in the first half of 2024 and it will no doubt bring performance higher than the current Ryzen 7000 X3D processors. If Arrow Lake won't experience any delays, then Intel should be able to launch the next generation in quarter 4 2024. 
The 15900K should bring a massive performance uplift over the 14900K and as a result beat AMD's upcoming Ryzen 9 18950X. However, AMD does have a response to that in the form of Ryzen 8000 X3D variants. The company is on track to launch the 3D variants earlier than Intel its 15th generation. Both CPU makers appear to be on track to deliver highly competitive products in 2024. I just hope that Intel won't use the same obnoxious level of power consumption to get higher up the charts again. I'd rather have a 15900K with adequate power consumption out of the box than have it run super hot for the sake of scoring a few percent higher on the performance charts. Also, I'd like to remind you that Intel will be using a more advanced and expensive 3 nanometer node versus AMD's less expensive 4 nanometers. So, if AMD wanted to, they could absolutely destroy Intel's next generation offerings by also booking 3 nanometer wafers at TSMC. But the reality is, they just don't need to. AMD's primary focus lies in delivering top tier products at the most competitive manufacturing costs within the client segment. This strategy enables them to be flexible and either enhance their competitive edge on pricing or maintain higher profit margins, thereby bolstering their financial reserves. Have you enjoyed this video? Then take a moment to like it and subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.